Hey, welcome to High Guard Creation. In this video, I will show you a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> How to resize the width of the space bar panel size, okay? Great. Here, in the sculpt room, I believe it will be the best place to be able to show you the concept of this process. As you already know, when you press the space bar key on the keyboard, this quick access panel appears for all the tools, brushes and commands in the specific mode we are in 3D code, right? Right. <laughs> But it would be great if we could resize the width of this panel according to situations that can help improve the work inside 3D code. What I mean is that there are situations where it would be better to have a smaller or even larger panel width depending on the specific task we are performing inside 3D code. So, I will open the toolset.cpp script through this button edit script for the toolset. And inside the main function, there is no function that is related to the spacebar panel in the sculpt room or any other room. Now, I will add on top of the function register voxels the set space panel columns count function. This function is responsible for setting the size of the width of the space bar panel, okay? The only parameter that this function has is a numeric value. And this value exactly defines the size of the width of the panel by columns. By default, when we do not use this function set space panel columns count, actually, somehow this function is being used internally by 3D code. When I set the value to zero, this means the same thing as if you are not using the function here inside the script. So, the value 0 will be understood as if it were the default value of 3D code. To prove it, I will save the script, close it, go back to 3D code and click the OK button. And when I press the space bar key, as you can see, the panel is still the same size as the previous default panel, right? Right. <laughs> I'm going back to the toolset.cpp script. And now, when I set the value to 16, let's see what will happen with the panel. One more time, I will save the script, close it, go back to 3D code and click the OK button. And pressing the space bar key, as you can see, the pen is still exactly the same size, right? Right. That's because the default value 3D code uses internally is 16, okay? I will return to the toolset.cpp script. And now, inside the function set space panel columns count, I will change this value to 1. <laughs> <laughs> I will save this script, close it, 
back to 3D code, click the OK button. And pressing the space bar key, as you can see, the result will be a panel with a width of just a single column, which is the exact size of a functionality button, right? Right. <laughs> so, I'm going to simplify things here. To know the exact size of the width of the spacebar panel, just think about how many columns or how many tools in the same row of the panel there will be, okay? Great! For this, another example, I will go back to the toolset.cpp script. And one more time, inside the function set space panel columns count, I will set the value to 4. Perfect! The reason for this is simple. I would like the width of the panel to correspond to only four functionalities buttons, okay? So let's see if this will happen. I will save the script, close it, go back to 3D code and click the OK button. And as a result, pressing the spacebar key we have successfully resized the panel in the width corresponding to exactly four columns or four functionalities buttons in the same row, right? Right. <laughs> Great. I hope you have learned something new and as always, I will see you all in the next video, see you there.